very like menthol, mentholy, heavily mentholy, heavily menthol. <laughs> I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content, I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a motherhood video. I thought I would just film my favourite teething remedies. I have a little boy called Didier who's two years old and a seven month old daughter called Nina. And around December, Christmas time, when they were both two and two, they were both teething like crazy and I was losing the will to live. Uh, my little boy Didier had all four molars coming through and Nina had her first set of teeth coming through right at the bottom and it was fun times, really fun. Cue sleepless nights, all the crying, my toddler being replaced by a demon. <laughs> not joking. It was crazy and I know that everything I'm going to mention now is not groundbreaking or anything new but I just wanted to share the products, medicines that definitely worked for me and for my baby. So I'll start rambling and just get straight into it. First up is the teething powder Ashton and Parsons. I use this mostly on my little boy when he was teething. It's basically a little powder and you rip it open and uh, I like to just like wet my finger and rub it in and then rub it into his gums or you know where I know that the tooth is breaking and my little boy would just kind of stop doing what he was doing start getting upset because this is like a powder texture he would just sit there and you could see him like almost like exploring the the taste and the texture of this powder and I felt that that would distract him uh, and then obviously the medicine would do its work so this has always been a staple in my little first aid kit for teething next up is the Bongella soothing teething gel I again use this on my little little boy. This was particularly great when I found that the teething powder wasn't doing too much or I couldn't really give him another sachet of the teething powder. My most memorable use of this was I couldn't reach my teething powders and my little boy was in the back seat and he was having a full-blown meltdown. He had been in the car for quite a while, his teeth were throbbing and I remember having this in my purse and I just managed to uh, like reach over in the car seat and rub this on his gums and within minutes he just kind of settled down and went straight to sleep so I've always made sure that I've got a tube of this to hand. Next up is Calpol. Uh, where would I be without this stuff? I really like these hand aid hand aid. <laughs> I <laughs> really like these handy little sachets. They are great for on the go. The amount of times that I forgot to bring like the cowpole bottle to my baby's like injections, too many times, but I was so glad that I was remembered to have these in my little first aid kit. They, they've just saved my butt so many times. And I know that when my little boy is like cutting a tooth, like you can just see it poking through the gums and he's particularly like aggravated and upset. I just know that it's time for him to have a little bit of Calpol. Uh, Calpol is the brand name and it is basically like a sugar-free infant suspension. So basically paracetamol. When you buy a box, it also comes with a spoon. So I find that this is really handy to keep in my little first aid kit. And my last medicinal teething tip is Anbasol. I didn't use this on my little boy uh, only until very recently and he's now practically got all of his teeth. And I wish I had bought this sooner. I'd always heard about it, uh, I just never really got around to buying it because I could never find it and then I realised you have to buy it over counter. It's about £6 and my little girl, she was really kicking off uh, when her front teeth were coming through and I just decided to pop to Boots and when I realised that I could buy it over the counter I did that and I am never looking back. This is my second bottle already. Uh, like I mentioned, both of my children were teething at the same time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so my little boy had all four sets of molars. And like I said, Nina had oh, her two front bottom teeth coming through. And I, I practically went through a bottle of Ambersol within four months. And I just noticed an immediate effect as soon as I put this on both of them. It is very like menthol 
mentally, heavily mentally, heavily mental flavoured. So my children do pull faces, but uh, I essentially call it mouthwash. So I just rub it onto their gums when I know that the tooth is about to come through or actually onto the gum when it's about to cut. And I feel like this just works wonders. I really wish that I picked this up with my face. So that's all the medicinal side that I tend to use on my children. And the next thing that I use to help soothe my little girls like teething gums, like itchy gums, is to use one of these like weaning dummies. It's just like a large dummy thing with a silicone dummy head and I actually froze breast milk to put in here and that instantly calmed her down. She loved using that. You could just see her chomping on it. I think it was just such a relief for her. And even if you don't breastfeed and you don't put breast milk in it, I have since put frozen banana in here just so that she can chomp on that. So I will definitely be doing that again when she gets her top teeth because I'm no longer breastfeeding. So I will put some frozen banana in it. That was a great trick. Teething toys, specifically these teething monkeys. My mum actually bought this one for my little boy when he was teething, but unfortunately he didn't really take any interest to any kind of toy, teething or not, but these matchstick monkeys are great. My little girl went to town on these. First of all, when we kind of realised she was teething, she was just chomping her fists so much, they were becoming so swollen. So I gave her this one when I found it and yeah, she loved it and I mentioned it to my mum and my mum very kindly surprised us by buying some more of the 3D ones. I rave about these matchstick monkeys. I love that this one's like a 3D one and she can just cling on to it or on the tail and she has loved these. So this one's like a 2D one and she goes to town. And the other feature with these monkeys is that on the backs of the head, they've got like little bumpy bits, almost like flat toothbrush, so she can like rub it against her gums and she loves those. And along with the silicone theme, we also picked up some of these silicone dummy clips. And again, we don't tend to take these out and about with us. But if she is in a pram and she wakes up and she's kind of bored, she will instantly just like reach for this and start chomping on it. So there we have it guys. They are all my favorite teething remedies and toys. I know that there are so many more out there. I am really interested in those amber teething beads, but I just don't know if they work or not. Loads of people swear by them. Uh, I would like to buy one and maybe test it out on Nina. Please let me know your thoughts below. Please let me know any of your teething tips below, what works best for your child. If you like this video, I'd love it if you give it a big thumbs up and please leave any comments down below. I would love to have you as a viewer here, so please consider subscribing. I make videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays and I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.